It's the final of the men's 1500 metres. What a race in prospect. In some senses, wide open. In other regards, an opportunity for Asbel Kiprop, the mercurial Kenyan, could join Nuruddin Morsali as a four time champion. There he is, Kiprop. He's won the last three, but it depends which Asbel Kiprop turns up. When he gets it right, he makes it look so, so easy. But will he be switched on? And will he get his tactics right tonight? Well, he's one of these athletes you just don't know. I mean, Asbel always, when the gun goes, rushes to the back of the field. You know, he, he loves just languishing at the back. Whether he can come through or not is the big question mark. He always leaves it to the last lap. Sometimes the last lap is so fast he can't get to the front, and that's the problem. The last individual track final of the 2017 IAAF World Athletics Championships. Just the two relays to come. Elkham, African champion last year. He cannot be ruled out. Really fast finisher. Asbel Kiprop, hoping to become a four-time world champion. He is one of the greats, third fastest in history. Is it another goal tonight? Sadiq Miku, Moroccan representing Bahrain, second in Stockholm, big PB this year. Lewandowski, European indoor 800 and 1500 meter champion, 800 two years ago, 1500 this year. Willis, twice an Olympic medalist, former Commonwealth champion, a wily old campaigner, still going strong. Chariot, just out of the medals two years ago in Beijing. We've seen that embrace between him, Kiprop and Menangoy. Kenyans are up for it. Philip Britson, one of three hugely talented brothers. Henrik was fifth here in London. Younger brother Jakob, a huge talent. European Championship bronze medalist indoors and out. Fiery eyes for Chris O'Hare. He's really up for this tonight. So too Jakob Halusa. Face a picture of concentration. Really good tactician if he's still in the mix. No Olympic champion from the United States, Matty Centrovitz, but Gregorek is here. Silver medalist Elijah Manangoy on the podium in Beijing. He says there's only one colour he's interested in tonight. And Meshal, a fine indoor runner over 3,000 metres, 3.34 this season. Well, what an individual final with which to finish the programme. Just the relays to come. This could be very dramatic indeed. So hard to pick a winner from here. Well, the first familiarity of this 1500 meter final is that, as expected, the three time world champion and former Olympic champion, Asbel Kiprop, has gone right to the back with his two compatriots in first and second. Well, what do you expect? He rushed to the back there, didn't he? And in front, Mangaloy and Chariot just leading him through at a very slow pace. O'Hare break just in uh, second place there, just behind the two Kenyans. And there he is, the big man is at the top. Inga Britson just behind him. Halusa on the inside, slow pace, slow pace. So, it's Menangoy on the inside, Chariot in the white spikes. O'Hare is in third, and still no move, Steve, from Asbel Kiprop. It hasn't been a perfect season for the defending champion. Do you think he's sharp enough if it comes down to the last lap? Well, this is playing into his hands, really. He loves the slow pace. He's looked up and seen his two compatriots up front, and he's starting to move through now. This is good news, because if Kiprop is up there at the, at, the, at the lead with a lap to go, hard to beat. Chariot leads from Menangoy. They have taken it out. Good running from Great Britain's Chris O'Hare. He's in third with Kiprop now on his shoulder. Watch for the likes of Halusa of the Czech Republic and Miku as well as Meshal comes wide on the outside. There are some fast men tailing Kiprop and it's now Kenya 1, 2, 3. Got to watch out for this. The Kenyans are on a charge. Chariot is in front. Manganoi just behind, and I think Kiprock realised what his teammates was doing. He swung right around the rest of the athletes, and he's gone on to the sort of shoulder, I suppose you could call it, of Chariot. 
55.9 for that lap. Inga Britson leads the chasers with Chris O'Hare just behind. Then Miku, the fast finishing man from Bahrain. And look at Meshal closing the gap now on Inga Britson. O'Hare going backwards a little bit. It is still Chariot leading from the Nangoy and Asbel Kiprop. And they've slowed a fraction. And that's allowed the rest to close up. What a last lap in prospect. Inga Britson closing down now. And closing down fast, as you say. The pace is slowed. Inga Britson decides to come on the inside. But still, it's the three Kenyans. One, two, and three at the moment. The bell lap. Inside the last 400 metres of the men's 1500. A really intriguing race. Chariot leads. Inga Britson is tucked in in third because it's Menangoy in second. Asbel Kiprop, the defending champion, onto the Norwegian shoulder. Meshal in fifth. The European indoor champion over 3,000 is beginning to rock and roll. Watch for Miku of Bahrain if he gets in the mix. Look at this one from Inga Britson. Kiprop's going backwards. I don't think it's going to be a fourth title for the Kenyan. He's out of it. A real opportunity for a European medal here. Chariot leads from the Nangoy. Inga Britson on the inside, battling with Meshal for a medal. What a run this is. Silver two years ago from the Nangoy. Gold tonight, Chariot the silver. And Inga Britson falls on the line and takes the bronze. He cannot believe it. What a performance. We were expecting all the fireworks from Asbel Kiprop. But the man who was the fastest in the world this year, who got the silver two years ago and said there was only one colour he wanted this time, has come out on top. Another Kenyan victory, but this time it's Menangoy. His compatriot Chariot takes the silver. And what a bronze for the Norwegian Philip Inga Britson falling across the line to take his place on the podium. Well. Chariot is on the track. Mangaloy obviously raises himself up. He's won the gold. Inga Britson comes through so hard on that last, what is it, 20 or so metres. And if he has got the, uh, the, the bronze medal, that's the first European medal since uh, Medi Bala and Ivor Hesco. And they were second and third in Paris back in 2003. It's been that long since the European has won a medal at the 1500 metres. Mangalai, though, did everything he had to do. His teammate, Chariot, took it up all the way through. Well, the big man, Asbel, didn't have it this time round. But Kenya really run a great race there to get the gold in the end. Well, Manangai has been the top Kenyan this year. He's the fastest in the world. And he did a last lap there in 53.85. Well, at last, he has come out on top. Kiprop generously getting involved in the lap of honour. He drifted out to ninth. He hadn't had a great season so far, but it's his compatriot who takes the gold with Chariot the Silver. Great performances from them. Kenyans winning both 1500s. And what about Inga Britson? Older brother Heinrich and younger brother Jakob will be absolutely delighted for him. Big dramatic dive for the line. As Steve said, first European on the podium in this event since 2003. I'd like to see a, a rerun of that last 100 metres or so because there's a lot of pushing, shoving going on. Inga Britson crashing through the line to take the bronze. But no doubting, really. The two in front, Manganoy and Chariot. There it is, Manganoy with that wonderful 3.33.61. Chariot just behind after doing all the pacemaking, 3.33.99. And uh, Philip Inga Britson coming through, crashing for that bronze medal, 3.34.53. Well, here we are on that last lap. We all thought that uh, Asbel Kiprop was going to come sailing past but the two Kenyans kept plowing on Inga Britson kept himself on the inside and in with the chance of a medal at that stage Chariot still working so hard those long loping strides Manganoy though come on the outside and at this point maybe we still thought Kiprop could have something in the tank 
but he drifts back here and I think this is when Inga Britson senses he's in with a chance of a medal because Kiprop was fading the two Kenyans running hard at the moment outside Chariot still working hard still pushing hard the arms are going up he's looking over and Mangaloi is there Inga Britson is trying to come through on the inside looking over looking over well Mangaloi goes through Chariot is second, and then there's a dip by Ingeritsen for that bronze. Well, it was pretty close, it really was. Michelle of Spain, maybe was just edged out on the inside there. The Spaniard was going all over the place, arms failing, legs really lactating. Just couldn't get past Ingeritsen. Ingeritsen looking the wrong side to his right when the challenge was coming on the left. There it is, he sees it at the last minute, and that's why I think he dived for the line. Manangoy came out and said this was the one he desperately wanted after silver behind Kiprop two years ago, and he delivered under pressure. The Kenyans really took that out. They were hoping for a 1-2-3, not to be. But what do you make of this finish, Steve? Would there be any reason for a protest from Meshal on the inside as Inga Britson just veers across. Yeah, there is, yes, obviously a veering across, but he's still there's still a gap there. Yeah, there's still a gap. He veers across even more there, though, as he dives to the light. Well, we'll have to wait and see if the Spaniards protest, and then it might go to a jury, but at the moment, it still stands. Just the two relays to come on the track men's and women's four by four they will bring the curtain down on what has been an absolutely sensational 10 days of live athletics